Hello, Henry from Belgium here. Today, a video about LEGO set 6265, Saber Island from 1989. I have the set complete with the box, manual, and all parts. The set contains only 96 pieces, including the parts of the three minifigures. But the set has some nice parts and play features, and it is definitely worth showing it to you. In 1989, the pirate theme was a brand new theme, and it quickly became very popular with many people all over the world. The years after, various sets were added to the theme. But these are mainly the 10 first sets produced in 1989 that I remember, because I owned them all when I was 9 years old. My goal is to find all 10 and add them to my collection. I currently have these sets in the collection now, so I have yet to find more than half of them. Especially set 6285. Black Sea's Barracuda, with the box included, is almost impossible to find at a reasonable price. The smaller sets in particular do not contain many parts, and you can easily find these separately for a small budget. But I like to find everything with the box, because it makes my collection just that little bit more special. And that way, the search for it is also more difficult and challenging. After a long search, I managed to find this set with the box. Only here in the top right corner I see some minor damage, perhaps due to the removal of a price label. Otherwise in beautiful condition with bright colors. The artwork and photos appeal to the imagination, and you immediately imagine the many pirate stories that you can play with this set. The manual is in good condition too. It is pre-folded, obviously, to fit in the box, but when you open it, you have a handy and good size. Here you can see all the parts on the table, especially white and yellow bricks, accessories, flags, and some ready-made pieces. The classic palm tree is also included. I have already noticed that not every palm tree has the same number of brown connectors, and that this can differ from set to set. This palm tree consists of four connectors, and the bottom piece in which you have to click them. You can move the tree in various directions because of those connectors. The size of the leaves can also differ. This is the large type, and here you can see an example of a small one from another set. Before I start building, I will show you the three minifigs. There are two Imperial soldiers and one officer, complete with beautiful print on the torso and nice accessories. And a cool detail to know is that the pirate theme was the first theme in LEGO history to introduce minifigs with extras on the face. So from then on, you no longer just had heads with the well-known smiley. What is also nice about this set is that you actually have two separate elements, an island with a tower and also a sloop. That sloop has benches, a flag and oars. Together with a minifig, this could already be a small separate set. And there is actually a very similar one, namely 6245, Harbor Sentry, also from 1989. That set has just an extra cannon with bullets and an other minifigure. So even though this 6265 Saber Island is a small set, there is still a lot to discover.
The base plate is a 16 by 16 with island on blue water pattern. And it is quite valuable. It only appears in one other set, and that is set 6,260 Shipwreck Island, also from the same year 1989. I already have it in my collection, but I haven't found a box yet, and that probably won't happen anytime soon. I'm afraid I'll have a better chance by buying an extra set with box. Separate empty boxes are almost impossible to find, unless at a very high price, which in most cases makes it better to a used set with box. The building experience is quite limited, but still fun to do. Loyal viewers already know that ready-made pieces are not really my thing, but in this case, it was a good choice. If the 1x1x5 bricks were all separate bricks from 1x1, one one, you would have many more bricks for alternative constructions, but then this building would be much less beautiful. You would see the seams, and if they are not 100% properly built together, this would be disturbing for a set where it is important that the structure has a sleek, rectangular appearance. That's also why I'm very happy that the white parts are still very nice and white and not yellowed, because the contrast with the real yellow bricks is an absolute added value here. These are nice accents that make it a beautiful display piece. And of course, the one panel with the print of bricks completes it. The set is not only beautiful, but functional as well, and it has great playability which is of course due to the cannon with the accompanying bricks that serve as bullets. According to my research, there is a version where you cannot really shoot because it is too dangerous for children, but that way you take away the most important game element of the set, I think. I still remember when I was little, I had hours of fun by just shooting at minifigs or targets with the cannon. As mentioned, I think the finish of the building is very good, but like many other sets, it often stops here. Purely in terms of decoration, the designers could have made just a little bit more of it if they had had some extra budget, such as a lamp in the lantern, a barrel to store extra weapons, a table, bed, or chair for the governor on the first floor. And of course, like many other sets from that period, I can comment that there are no ladders or stairs to reach the different floors. I suspect that this was not done as standard because it was too complex to include it in the design at the time. Too many extra bricks had to be provided, or certain parts had not yet been designed or produced at that time. On the other hand, the accessories that are available are well chosen. Some extra weapons, and a big flag which is even the eye-catcher of the set. There is also something extra interesting to say about that flag because it exists in two different versions. Here on Bricklink, you can see that there is a sticker sheet available, as well as a white flag on which this must be applied. And that is for both the large and the small flag. You can also see in the alternate items that the non-shooting cannon is described here. And I also see here that there should be two extra epaulets in the set. And I actually have both of those extra here. So this is the beautiful end result, and I also discovered a nice detail about this. The last step in the manual, and the result of what the set looks like now, is not how it's depicted on the front of the box. As always, different variations are possible, and you can get creative. It has an exciting theme, good and nice parts, high playability factor, three minifigures, a sloop, weapons, and a nice base plate. You really get a lot for this little set and all complete with the original box and manual. For all those reasons, it will certainly have a nice place in my collection, and especially because of the beautiful memories I have of it as a child. Feel free to comment below this video, and don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.